Hello everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen, the Junk Journal Geek. If you haven't been here before, a very warm welcome to you. And if you're a returning visitor, thank you for coming back to join me today. I think Miss Martha is finished. If you haven't seen the rest of this series, this was a design team project for Sunny Creates using her kit called So Beautiful. I will leave all the um, information you need in the description box, um, but there is a discount code until the 28th of February for 20% off this kit. So as you can see, it's a sewing themed journal and it's named Martha after my nan. Um, it's a soft cover. It was made from a paper bag and my um, intention was to make the journal feel squishy like when you get a sewing pattern and it's in the paper envelope you know when you scrunch it it's all squishy and yummy um, that was the feel I was aiming for with this journal and I've sort of achieved it um, it's closed with this sheer organza ribbon which um, can, can either wrap around the button or be tucked through itself or both um, and then the cover is the the base of the cover is covered in this upholstery fabric and then on the front I have taken an image from the kit this was one of the journal cards in the kit and where there were pictures of buttons I've actually sewn buttons on top and then there was this um, needle and thread and I've actually got some matching thread and stuck it on top of the thread in the picture and I've actually threaded it underneath the needle here and through the eye there so I'm not sure if you can actually see that very clearly um, on the camera but this is embroidery floss um, so I quite like the way that came out and then I've just mounted that on some uh, fabric with a little bit of lace for some added interest and then where the faux plate was down here I've um, just added another couple of buttons with um, a darker thread here to make it look like screw heads which is what it looked like underneath there and then I've just edged um, the, the edges with this lace trim so that's the cover the inside of the cover is lined with um, the tissue pattern from the um, pattern package that I used and um, we have a pocket here which is again a postcard from the kit and then in the pocket I have just popped a few pieces from the kit um, as journal cards and then this one um, if you have seen the earlier um, videos in this series you will have seen that I misprinted I had some papers that were misprinted when I first printed out this kit I just set the printer and let it go and um, my ink was running low so these image these papers were not the right colors so um, rather than waste them I covered them with some more of the pattern paper just to disguise the fact that the colours weren't quite right. And then I've made journal cards um, to use throughout the journal and they're backed with um, different papers, packaging paper, um, other papers, all sorts of bits and pieces. So this is um, obviously the digis. All the papers from the kit I have backed with scans of tea dyed paper these are my own scans and then there's also um, some supplementary papers in here this is my actual tea dyed paper so obviously the texture is different to the printed stuff this is some calligraphy paper uh, more tea dyed paper and then this is the um, instruction page from the sewing pattern that I used. I've made a pocket um, and then again I've just made a journal card to slide in there in exactly the same way as the first one I've just shown you except this has got a bit of lace trim at the top and then down here there's a little tag from the kit 
that I've stuck on as a tuck spot and I've just popped a little cigarette card in there and then there's some crochet trim down the edge. This um, was an old pattern and it was quite um, fragile. There were some tears in some places and it did tear as I used it. So there's some patching going on here and there with different things. This is a piece from a page from a vintage Sears catalogue. And then throughout the journal, there are um, various fabric tabs that I felt coordinated with the kit. This is from the kit. Again, it's backed with scanned tea dyed paper and this is actual tea dyed paper. And then this is just packaging paper again that I have folded and sewn in. And then I've put this um, paper trim down the edge that we made together in a different video and just popped a little um, sticker on there just for some interest. This is just ivory um, office paper some crochet trim there as a tab and then this um, is made from a junk mail envelope so it's a used envelope um, I did make one of these with you on camera so it's just an, a usual you know business letter envelope that's come through the post I've covered it in the tissue paper the actual pattern paper from the sewing pattern that I used this um, quote is from the kit this fussy cut is from the kit and then I've just popped a little bit of um, neck curtain under there. It's a bit of lace from the neck curtain and again in the pockets. Um, these are tags from the kit with tabs from the kit that I have just put together and popped in there as a pocket. And again, this is um, page from the kit. So I hope you're all um, well and happy and um, I've said that I think this journal is finished but I do feel like I might come back and do a bit more. This is the centre of the first signature and at the bottom of the strings I've just threaded a variety of buttons um, just to act as a dangle but obviously whoever ends up with this journal eventually could just cut that off there and do without those if they prefer, if they're annoying or in the way. Um, but I just liked that because there's obviously buttons throughout the kit. Um, I've left lots and lots of journaling space in this kit and I've also left pages um, that can be decorated by whoever ends up with the kit as well. So I haven't overly decorated. Um, that's, you know, just another journal card I've made in exactly the same way as the other ones. This is a little tuck from the kit and Again, this is an envelope from the kit. I haven't put anything in there, so it's ready to be used by whoever ends up with this journal. And again, that's just the other side of the packaging page with the paper trim that we made together. This is a label from, I'm not sure if it was from a cigar box or a bottle. Um, but it's a vintage label and I just thought the colours worked well with the kit and again it's this is made in exactly the same way as I explained before. So all the signatures are the same but different, they all have the same sort of things um, but they might have been put together slightly differently or with different papers. So this journal is um, there's four signatures and I think there are a total of 240 pages. Um, there's 15 sheets of paper in each signature, I believe. So that's 15, third, that's 60 sheets of paper folded in half, 120, yeah, 240 pages in this journal. I think these kit pages are absolutely stunning. I love the colours, love the subject, all beautiful. So there's a couple of bits and pieces in there. 
and we're at the centre of the second signature and again there's just buttons threaded onto the strings at the bottom as a little decorative dangle. I actually filmed this video yesterday um, but it was late in the afternoon, it started getting dark and Max was having an absolute fit, he wanted to get in on the action. Um, I think he thought I was either on a Zoom call or on FaceTime and he likes to uh, jump up and, and have a look at what's going on and he would not stop whining. It was quite funny, but um, I think it was a bit distracting. So I thought I'd do it again today and I was losing the light as well. This is um, a quote from the kit again with a fussy cut from the kit. And then underneath is a little bit of petticoat from one of my daughter's dresses from when she was a little girl. There's another one of those labels. not 100% um, happy with the way the cover turned out. This um, um, little pocket is from the kit, but I'm glad I tried it. I've never made a cover this way before. Um, I've learnt new things. I've learnt what I would do and what I wouldn't do next time. Um, so I'm glad I gave it a try. Yeah, and this is the one of the fabrics that was used as a tab. This is a fussy cut from the kit and a quote from the kit. Another one of those labels. This is the center of the third signature. I've got some more buttons down here. And these are all just threaded on and then a knot tied at the bottom um, you know nothing fancy I just thought they looked pretty quite pleased with how they came out I'm quite pleased with how my um, embellishment of the cover came out there's another one of the little tags again just glued it in as a tuck spot and popped one of these cards in. These are vintage cards. This isn't, this is a replica. The other one was a vintage one, I believe. It's hard to keep track sometimes. Another um, pocket from the kit and another envelope from the kit. Um, this is a piece of paper that was left over when I was making one of the journal cards. So I just stuck it in there as a belly band and popped that journal card in from the kit. And here I've just added um, another sticker just for a bit of interest. Another one of those pockets. This is an example of where I've said I haven't decorated as much as I would usually. I've left this for either me to play with later or for whoever gets the journal to decorate this card so that um, there's an image there through the window. And then we're into the last signature.
there's some um, washi tape on some of these pages as I say they were a bit fragile so I've just given them a bit of reinforcement here and there that's another pocket from the kit Is the centre of the last signature. More buttons and these are all um, buttons from my own collection. Some of them are vintage and some of them are more modern. Oh excuse me, I've been doing housework, dusting. <laughs> um, this is another fabric that I used through for one of the tabs somewhere um, and these are pieces from the kit. Here, I was going to put another pocket the same as in the front cover but I wasn't happy with how it was closing once that was in so I just popped another one of these belly bands in um, and I've just popped in a couple of bits that were left over another envelope the envelope's been lined with the same pattern paper and a journal card which has just been left plain so that's in the back so as I say it just rolls around like that there's room for it to grow a bit more you know as you stick things in and decorate and what have you um, and there's plenty of ribbon here so that you know you can let it expand and you'll still be able to close it what i don't like about the cover is the way the corners are curling up um not sure how to rectify that but I'm glad I gave it a try. It's very different to my usual hardcover journals. Um, I like the look of it. Not sure I'd do another one. Might do one more just to see, you know, if I could improve it at all. But there's Miss Martha. She's all done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found that interesting. Um, I'll be back again in a couple of days, fingers crossed. Uh, I'm not sure what I will be working on in my next video, but thank you for joining me today. Enjoy your own crafty time and take care. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.